Adding a PayPal button to your website is actually pretty easy, and I'm going to show you a couple of tricks to make it a little bit easier. For those of you who are not familiar with HTML code, like myself, there's a little trick you can use to get your button in the right spot. So first thing you need to do is click inside here or click select code. You want to go ahead and copy that code, and you want to go to the page on your WordPress site where you want to add the button. So what I want to do is actually add the button right here. So I want to say get the entire course for just 197. I want the button to be here and then this content goes below that. Now you might be wondering why I added a bunch of X's here and that's essentially just a marker for me to know where I need to paste the code that I just copied. In order to get a PayPal button onto your website you need to actually go to the HTML tab. Now, this is going to look like a bunch of gobbledygook to you, more than likely, and that's why I put those X's in there. If we scroll down, now we see, oh, hey, there it is. We've got a bunch of X's in here. It just serves as a marker for the exact place that I need to paste this code. So you want to make sure you highlight the X's or get them deleted. I'm just going to paste over them so they don't show up there. We'll click Paste. And now that code goes right into the specific spot that I wanted it to go into. Now when I go back to the visual tab, we'll see that my button shows up in here. And actually in this cell, all of this stuff is centered. So I'm just going to click on the button or highlight it rather. And I'll click align center and boom, there we go. Now that's in the middle too. And I think that it added a space here. So I'm just going to delete this space delete two spaces actually and now if we go to our site we see that we have our markers here and if I click update and go here and refresh the page now we have a nice PayPal buy now button so if I click on that button it'll take me right to the checkout page I highly suggest when you set this up to go ahead and make a test purchase or two and a nice easy way to do that is to change your pricing to 25 cents or something like that. Make an actual purchase with your credit card. See how the process goes. Make sure emails go where they need to go. Make sure you get an email saying that you made a sale and you should be good to go. But uh, I do want to let you know, in case you're not too familiar with the sales side of PayPal, maybe you purchased with PayPal but haven't sold things with PayPal. When you come in as a buyer, you'll see this. You'll see here's what you're buying. And you can either just log in with your PayPal account and make a purchase with whatever PayPal balance you have. And then you can log in and go from there. Or if you don't have a PayPal account, you can click here. Or perhaps you don't want to use your PayPal account. And you can just accept credit cards. And they accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. And they would just go through this like any other shopping cart and be able to pay with their credit or debit card.